My name is Chuck Lee, and I <clears throat> live in Bothell, Washington. I've had diabetes for 40 years. You really have to watch your diet. You don't, you don't get to go hog wild on stuff. You um, have to constantly check your blood sugar. You got to watch your fluid intake. I dialysize three times a week and four hours at a time. So I take a lot of stuff there to, <laughs> to amuse myself while I'm sitting because it's four hours you're tethered to that machine. We, we used to like road trips, but it's so you have to make arrangements a month ahead of time. And sometimes it'll say, tell you two days ahead of time, hey, we can't take you. So then you got to rearrange everything, which my lovely wife does for me. <laughs> I think the biggest burden is the fact that Chuck actually has to go through with it every week. I think the burden is, you know, he has to, we have to go three times a week and four hours at a time. But I just hate to have to see him go through this and take his time that he likes to do other things. It was pretty exciting to be chosen to do it in the first place. I was amazed at how well it worked. I thought it really worked well for me anyway. It was heavy and cumbersome, <laughs> but I'd be wearing it today if I could. It just gives me so much more freedom. You can get up and walk around. We strolled up and down the aisleways in the hospital and stuff, yeah. One of the problems with dialysis is <clears throat> it's hard to remove the phosphorus, which is high in dairy foods. During the trial, I just ate whatever I felt like eating. I had a double order of macaroni and cheese for dinner. I ate Cheetos all night long. I drank orange juice and tomato juice, which both are high in potassium. That's another one you have to watch out for. It was just like, gosh, this is so great. <laughs> he was so happy about being able to eat everything and drink everything. And yet all of his tests that they ran on him all the time, his tests came out really good on checking all of his fluids and his potassium and everything and his blood pressure and everything came out really well. I think the greatest advantage for the artificial kidney would be the fact that Chuck would have his freedom back. He'd be able to not only wear it wherever he wanted, he could go whenever he wanted to go and you know he could get up at the spur of the moment and go to the store or do whatever he wanted to do. Another advantage I think would be the fact that he could Eat, eat more regular foods and not have to worry so much about how much he drank and you know how much potassium he was taking in and because the uh, wearable artificial kidney would be taking care of all that stuff 24 hours a day.